Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a get ready with me and I'm going to be trying out Laura Lee's Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. Um, don't come for me, I don't wanna talk about the drama with her or anything else going on in the community right now. I just really wanted to try this out because of some of the vibrant colors. I wanna put them to the test and see if they really do perform as bright as they are in the palette. To start off, I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Cottage Cheese to give more of a milky, creamy base um, because I want the colors to really show through. Then I'm just gonna set that with a white eyeshadow. I'm gonna take um, Nocturnal from the Pretty Vulgar palette that I've used before. Okay, now that I have a good base on my eyes, I'm going to start off with this light green color called Issa Party. And I'm just gonna focus that in the crease. I'm gonna do kind of like a transitioning crease. Um, so I'm gonna focus it on the first part of my crease. Okay, so far we're getting quite a bit of color. So that's a good sign. Okay, then I'm gonna take bottoms up, the pink color, and put that in the middle of my crease. And I'm gonna go back and forth with the green and the pink to try and get some sort of a gradient in between. Um, it's already creating kind of like an orange color. So I might take, take Danks, the or that's an awful name, Danks, the orange color, and put that in the middle and move the pink more to the outer edge um, to get more of a transition. Yeah, that's straight up turning orange. So I'm gonna take Danks and put it in the middle and then move bottoms up more to the outer um, part of my crease. Now that I'm happy with the gradient and sort of the shape that I'm gonna go for, I'm definitely gonna clean up the outer corners with concealer after. I'm gonna go in with NYX's Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer, and I'm gonna cut out the crease. Before that dries, I'm gonna set it with that same nocturnal white powder from the beginning of this tutorial. Okay, so I think I cut the crease a little bit high on this side, but that's okay because I'm going to put a glitter liner um, along the cut crease. So hopefully if I get that even, it'll even itself out. But first, I'm going to take just a little bit of the color hung over, the dark purple, and put that where it transitions from the cut crease just to my outer corner, just to fade that in onto the white a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to run damage control, the light blue, along my lower lash line. And just because we've used every color except, we're gonna use the dark blue Cherokee. I did not know that's how you spelled Cherokee. It's with a bunch of K's. Anyway, um, the dark blue, and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner of the lower lash line. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and make sure everything's nice and blended. Now I'm gonna take Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Liner in the shade Glam Rock, and I'm just gonna put it along where I cut the crease on both sides, about halfway in. Okay, so I ended up bringing the glitter a little bit past halfway, but I really like the way it looks. Now I'm gonna take Jordan Cosmetics Black Gel Liner. Okay, now that I've got some nice sharp wings, I'm gonna pop on some lashes. Um, today I think I'm gonna use Quo Lashes in the number 815. To blend my lashes into the false lashes, I'm going to take Lee Swatchier's Mascara Wow. Okay, so I didn't talk a lot about the eyeshadow while I was working with it. The colors are definitely pigmented. Um, they're showing up just like they do in the palette, which is really great. I didn't think that they would, and they did, so that was exciting. Um, I wanna say they're easy to work with. They're definitely difficult colors to work with. Um, blending, any kind of vibrant colors can be really tricky, but these ones blended pretty well. Like the transitioning was nice. It's definitely not a super practical palette. Most people wouldn't use this on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I would definitely wear something like this for like some sort of a concert, rave, whatever. I don't go to raves, but people that like to go to certain festivals, um, it would be fun for like spring, summer, parades, stuff like that. It doesn't have any transition colors, neutrals, simple colors that most palettes would have. It's definitely for like more of a fun look like this. The packaging's okay, nice and tiny. Uh, you're getting a lot of each shade, which is nice. Um, not that you would probably use all of the shades, but that's okay. There was a decent amount of fallout, but that's to be expected because it is a very vibrant and pigmented palette. Normally the more pigmented, the more fallout you're gonna get. I'll just sweep that away. To conceal, I'm gonna use the same concealer that I used to cut the crease, NYX's Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. the first time I'm using this concealer I just bought it the other day so we'll see how it goes it's really sinking into pores on the top of my cheek but hopefully that's just because I've put it on thick and once it's blended out it'll look better oh yeah it really is showing all my pores when put on thick okay hopefully that changes it feels nice and thick it's definitely um, not as runny as concealers I've tried in the past. You see what it means by contour concealer? It definitely is good for shaping your face. V 
because I picked up the Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer the other day, I decided to pick up the powder as well. And this is in the shade Alabaster. So it says it's a powder foundation, so I'm assuming it's supposed to add a little bit of coverage. I'm not seeing a lot of coverage. It does have a bit of a color to it, um, but we'll see how well it sets the makeup. It is making things look a little bit more cakey and powdery, so once I'm done all my other powders, I'm probably gonna spray my face with some sort of a thermal water just to freshen it up again. For bronzer, I'm going to take a Lancome Star Bronzer in the shade Powder Soleil. For blush, I'm going to take Pretty Vulgar's Make Them Blush in the shade Hush Blush. This is a really pigmented blush, so I think it would look nice um, to have a lot of color in my cheeks. blush definitely needs blending like otherwise it goes in one spot and it just does not it doesn't look right I'm gonna darken up my contour a little bit with Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the shade light to medium with the cool tone color Because my face has gotten very powdery, I'm just gonna take a Venn's O-Thermal um, water spray. And just give my face a really quick spritz. For highlighter, I'm gonna go into Too Faced Holiday Palette, the top section, and just pick up this champagne -y color. I'm going to quickly hop off camera and do my eyebrows just because it's the traditional uh, way I always do them. I will be doing some different styles of brows coming up in other videos, but I definitely think the bold style of brow I normally do would look really good with this eye makeup look, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm just gonna go back into that pretty vulgar palette that I was using the white from and take Break Free, which is more of a shimmery white, and use that underneath my brow bone and in the inner corner. For lips, I'm going to start off with using Lee Swashier's lip pencil in the shade Ginger to line my lips and just fill them in. For lipstick, I'm going to use a Des New York High Definition Liquid Lipstick. Mmm. Wow. I've never used this before. It smells delicious. Oh, it smells like some sort of a Christmas dessert. And to finish it off, I'm going to use NYX's Dewy Finish Setting Spray. that is the final look honestly I'm really impressed with this eyeshadow palette I kind of was hoping I wouldn't be because I know that I might get a little bit of backlash just because of who created the palette um, but the eyeshadow itself is really nice um, you can create a lot of really colorful vibrant looks with this 
I hope you guys like the look just as much as I do. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below with any kind of a makeup look that you want me to recreate or do. Um, I'd be happy to. Inspiration from music videos is always good, TV shows, celebrities. Just leave it in the comments down below and I will take a look. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.